Get the latest in Cardinal sports. Benny Rogers brings you the latest in scores and standings throughout the region. Cardinal Weekly starts now. Welcome to another edition of Cardinal Weekly presented by the Cardinal Sports Network. I'm Benny Rogers, the sports information officer here at the college. Well, it's playoff time for the Cardinal football team. The postseason begins Saturday for the Cardinals. They play Blinn at 3 p.m. at Bruce Field. In the other playoff game, Navarro is at Tyler also at 3 p.m. Coach Brad Smiley's Cardinals, who have won six straight games and are 72 on the year, are the number one seed in the playoffs. With the win against Blinn, they would host the championship game on Saturday, November 9th at 3 p.m. against the Tyler Navarro winner. The 10th ranked Cardinals shared the regular season conference championship with Tyler. Both were 5-1, but the Cardinals defeated Tyler 55-31 to earn the top seed for the playoffs. Blinn, the number four seed, brings a 4-5 record into Saturday's game. During conference play, the Cardinals defeated Blinn 34-18 in a game played October 12th in Brenham. The Cardinals come into the playoffs after throttling Southeast Prep 86-7 in their regular season finale Saturday at Bruce Field. The Cardinals put up 51 points in the first quarter and never looked back. The 86 points set a school record for points in a game, the previous record being 79 in last year's 79-0 win against Southeast Prep. Sophomore quarterback Ryan Polite, who played just one quarter, completed 10 of 11 passes for 185 yards and five touchdowns. Hunter McCoy came in to relieve Polite and was 7 of 10 passing for 90 yards and a pair of scores, and he also rushed for a touchdown. The Cardinals returned two punts for a touchdown, a 50-yarder by Daenerys Antoine and a 45-yarder by Jarvis Baxter. Luis Lopez returned the second half kickoff 68 yards for a touchdown. Courtney Finney had 11 tackles to lead the defense. Josh Pickett had 10, and Nick Richardson intercepted a pass, and Dakota Smith recovered a fumble. Good luck to the Cardinals in the playoffs. In volleyball, the Lady Cardinals are regional tournament bound for a second straight year. The regional tournament is scheduled November 8th through the 10th at Tyler Junior College. The Lady Cardinals will be the number three seed in the North Zone. But before the regional tournament, the Lady Cardinals, who are 19 and 13 on the year, have some unfinished regular season business. They travel next Monday, November 4th, to Hillsboro to play Hill College at 7.30 p.m. We will have more on the regional tournament pairings next week. The Lady Cardinals softball team wrapped up the fall exhibition season Saturday at Kane Park with a pair of 19-1 wins against the Hurricanes. Last Thursday, the Lady Cardinals played at Grayson College, scoring an 8-1 win in Game 1 and settling for a 5-5 tie in Game 2. Coach Ashley Johnson's squad is 14-10-3 in the fall, and the spring season is scheduled to begin in early February. The 2013-14 basketball season tips off for the Lady Cardinals and Cardinals this week. Both teams tip off on the road on Friday. The two-time defending national champion Lady Cardinals play at Arkansas Baptist, and the Cardinals will be in Dallas taking on Ranger. Saturday, the Cardinals face Midland, also in Dallas. Home openers are scheduled on Tuesday, November the 5th, when the Lady Cardinals play Coastal Bend at 5.30, and the Cardinals will go against the Texas Riders at 8 p.m. We, of course, will have more on basketball in the weeks to come. That's going to wrap it up for this edition of Cardinal Weekly. For the Cardinal Sports Network, this is Benny Rogers reporting.